after this introduction to pages. So as you can see, I'm logged into my iCloud here. First thing I'm going to do is click on the pages icon. Now, obviously, all the documents that I've ever written are in my iCloud. So we're going to just start here. Click the plus sign to create a new document. And then there's loads of different templates that you can use. However, I'm just going to focus on the basic ones here with a blank. So just click on this and then in the top right hand corner, just click create. So I'm just going to go through some of the tools that you can see. Um, the main one really here bit of a tip make sure that you click this and click fit to page because what sometimes students do is they don't realize um, but they design what they see on the screen and they don't realize that part of the page is actually off the screen so make sure that you click fit to page and um, the next main tool here is the text tool so if you click this you can actually create a text box so I'll just click here put there we go. So you can edit this with these features here at the side. So you can change um, the typeface. So if you want to, you can go for something like Futura. Um, here you can change the, say, the size of the text. You can bold, italic. Um, one of the great features on this is you can actually kern your text. So what I mean by kern is the space between the characters. So if you click on the little cog, you get this feature here where it says character spacing. So if I just, can you see by clicking this, can you see how the text, the characters are getting closer together and you can do the other way as well. It's important to kern your text. So that's how you do it. It's a great feature that you don't get in Word, but you do in this. There we go. So you can do this. Um, you can also arrange the text so you can turn it um, 90 degrees if you wish. Um, you can layer text. There's lots and lots of things that you can do. Um, so it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. I would just um, take some time out to experiment with that tool. This tool again is quite a good one if you wanted to create a box or a block of some sort. So say for instance if I wanted the background to be grey, I can highlight this. There we go that there go to style and I can change the color fill if I want to so if I click on that I might go for like a light gray now can you see how at the minute this is above the text box that I've just created you can click arrange and you can just click none there and you can send that to the back another feature um, is if it is that you want to incorporate um, a photograph that you've got offline um, so you just click here on this tool here and it will give you the option to do an image or an image gallery and we're just going to do an image at the minute the image gallery is if you want to create an interactive um, document um, so similar to that what you would have done in iBook author but for this we're just going to use image so I'm just going to click that um, your files then open here I'm just going to choose these two images here so you can see you can scale them down if you want to there we go scale that down and do things like that again um, you can do drop shadows and things like that on them however in this instance we probably won't want to put a drop shadow on these you don't want it to be to have too much going on in your layout um, another feature as well which a lot of students will be using especially in photography is you'll need to um, um, put diagrams onto some of your research pages. So to do that, you just go into those shape tool again to get the line and you can draw shapes where you're drawing diagrams onto your research. It's a form of analysis, so it's good practice to do this. Here again, you can see the styles. So you can do dots if you want to. You can change the color of the dots. You can change the thickness of the dots, etc. So I think the best thing to do really with this is to have a play around and see what you can do. Um, there aren't as many features in the browser version of Pages as there are on the actual Macs that, use it, that you'll use in college. Um, 
but it does do the basics so have a play around see what you think um, and then in the next couple of weeks we'll be going through tutorials to do with layout design um, so yeah in the meantime have a play and see what you think <laughs>